What is up, guys? My name is Flares, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Sun. In the last episode, we visited the trainer school and uh, met up with How, Lily, and us. Lily and Lily and I met up with How. We'll say it that way because it makes more sense to me. <laughs> met up with How over here, where some raging Tauros was, or something. We went to the trainer school though before that. And fought some people, met some people. We we graduated the same day. I didn't mean to go in there. We graduated the same day that we uh, enrolled, so I think we're doing just fine for ourselves. In between episodes, you may have seen a few extra videos go up. One regarding a certain Ash Greninja from the special demo and how to get that in your full version of the game. Check out the card on screen if you haven't seen that already. On top of that, you can also check out the... The Munchlax mystery gift that we also covered before this episode. And I would like to make mention that I believe Chewy, our Munchlax that we obtained from said mystery gift, is uh, going to be accompanying the party, at least for a little while. Not entirely sure if I want to use it just yet, but we'll bring it along and see, you know, see if I can make use of it somehow. I almost just totally ran off a cliff. Because I'm dumb, apparently. Howoli City, beachfront. Dude, this place looks awesome. Apparently this is the biggest city in all of Alola. I mean, that's kinda, that's kinda cool. Beach time, yeah! And to be honest, it looks like How just kind of wears his swim trunks anywhere, everywhere, so I mean... Hey you! You've come to Alola from someplace far off, haven't you? I can tell. It's that obvious? Then let me teach you the proper way to greet someone in Alola. Alola! You give it a try too. Just like that, Alola! You'll make more friends if you say it. If you say so. Howoli's got plenty of tall buildings. It's even got a tourist bureau. Oh, it's got a tourist bureau, did you say? Look, a car! Truck. It's a truck. Alola! You're here on vacation, young friend? Or perhaps a trial goer? I guess I'm a trial goer. Well, you are most welcome to Alola either way. In fact, why don't you take this? I got a potion! I have so many potions just because they just give them away! Oh my goodness! You. How's it? Uh. Da, 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 da. Okay. So, how went down to the beach? So, I, I guess I should do that too because look, there's an item! I found a Pokeball! Oh shit, there's Pokemon inside! The wing will fly, and their droppings fall. Ah, oh, the beauty of nature. No judging, and I won't judge you, friend. There's a thing. Pew! Look, catch! Would you stop? I know they're squishy, but there's no reason to throw a pew How do I say this name? Pukumuku. I think that's how you say it. My dog is going ballistic. I'll be right back. Status update. My physical copy of Sun and Moon arrived. As of 2.27 p.m. CST, on Friday, November 18th, 2016, I now have two copies of Pokemon Sun and one copy of Moon. I know you all wanted to know that, but just for documentation's sake. To throw a Pokeball if you must throw something, you want him to throw a Pokeball at you? I mean, if you say so. Slowpoke really have his, has its own tempo, huh? It's never confused by other Pokemon's moves. It's too slow to get confused, or to take a hint. Leave me alone already, would you, Slowpoke? Slow? Poke. Dude, Slowpoke is thirsty. Slowpoke is thirsty. <laughs> Uh, it seems like the NPCs that are just kind of walking by, I shouldn't really worry about bother, you know, talking to them. Um, are there any buildings here that I can enter? 
or no? Okay. Then I guess I'll just head up this way. I'll just go to the flag on my map. Having the map on the bottom screen though, I like all times, it's awesome. Shopping district, is this Persona? <laughs> I felt like there was some someone hiding behind the wall and laid right next to it with a karate chop. After all, a karate chop makes it easier to deal a real devastating critical hit. You mean this thing? Do I not? I don't. I guess I don't have the the Rotom Cam thing. Hey, Ryan! I thought I recognized the sound of those feet. What? <laughs> so what do you think? How holy is something, eh? Alola's got to be the best place still ever to live. Oh yeah. Hey Ryan, come in, come in here with me. I've got a good idea of something you could do. Hey Miss, is it true that you can get uh, get some kind of special gift if you have a Rotom Pokedex? My goodness, you get the news fast. Hardly anyone has a Rotom Dex, but it's true that we have a special item to go with it. It's our very own Pokefinder. Here you go. Pokefinder? Awesome! Isn't that awesome, Ryan? You got a Pokefinder! So, like, what's a Pokefinder? Why are you excited about it if you don't know what it is? The Pokefinder is a tool that lets you take photos of Pokemon. Okay, there's the Rotom Cam feature I was just talking about. Rotom will help point out places where you'll be able to take photos, too. Here, I'll read the instruction manual. Tap the Rotom, tap on Rotom or press R. Yep, that's all it says. Quite simple, isn't it? Man, that Rotom Dex is cool. It's like a whole nother partner, Ryan. I mean, on top of your Pokemon partner. Oh, but I guess since it's Rotom inside, it pretty much is a Pokemon partner. Either way, you're pretty darn lucky. Meet you outside when you're done in here. The photos you can stamp a Pokemon with a Pokefinder. They are simply too cute to resist. A Pokefinder? I want to give it a try! Zzz, zzz, boy, I might ne never want to leave this Pokedex. <laughs> oh, Rotom. Ryan, how? Did you visit the Taurus Bureau? How was it? We got his Rotom Dex upgraded. Now he can take pictures, too. What a wonderful helper you are, Rotom. Rotom just flashed me. Huh? <laughs> what was that for, Rotom? Go and put that little trickster back in your bag, Ryan, and follow me. Enough feasting for the eyes. It's time to take care of our stomachs. Maybe Rotom just wants to flaunt its new camera function and take more photos. Have you thought about trying it out? I think I'll go stop by the apparel shop to do some shopping of my own. Yo, trainer, look what you've got! You lucky kid, you've got a Pokefinder. Or if you've got a Pokefinder, then I guess I'll give you a tip. Did the spot on the wall where it's broken? You can take a picture there. That's the gist of the sentences he just said. Look at that! Your Rotom there is trying to tell you too. Give him a tap. Finders keepers and this finder is mine. Press R whenever you want to see the icon change. All right, let's use the Poke Finder. So the game does lag a little bit here. I, oh, actually, I guess that's partially because... So you can see that the screen is shifting every, you know, like, there, now it's shifting. That's because of the 3D slider on my 3DS, because I can only capture in 2D. So, a little bit of the lag was being caused because I had it in 3D mode. Because, in case you're not uh, aware, Pokemon Sun and Moon, um, the only portion of Pokemon Sun and Moon that actually runs in 3D is the Pokefinder. So, that's cool. You can move the camera all around by using the circle pad. It's always a good idea to try looking at the world from all kinds of different angles. When the time is ripe and you frame the perfect shot, press R, the A button. Zzz. 
each time you fire up the Poke Finder, you can take six picks before you run out of space. So we can also use our motion controls, which I always found it weird to like watch a video with somebody using motion controls because it's just, it's, you know, it's kind of nauseating. I'm gonna line up this Pikachu. Come on, Pikachu, do something for me. Oh, okay, that turns my motion controls off. What if I do this and then reset? There we go. Taking all the picks you can in one go. Let's shuffle along to photo selection. <laughs> kind of photo do you want to show the world, bucko? Where's that one of the, the Pikachu being really tired? Was that this one? Yeah, okay. That's, wow, they're so compressed. <laughs> they're so poorly compressed. Pikachu, Pikachu doesn't have a face in this one. Do this one. Your photo has been uploaded and the comments are already pouring in. My grandkids are cuter than that. Wow. No fair, this is just too darn cute. That's close to my granny's house. Thanks for sharing a great photo. Look at look at that lovely sky. Where? My mom thought this was a good one too. See, this way you can see what kind, what all kinds of different people think of your picks. Zzz, zzz. Current thumbs ups, 1,102. Pokemon, have you used social media? That doesn't happen. Pretty sweet photo, pal. Zzz, zzz. You hit a new record, kid. You're just blowing me away here. Seems... <laughs> like you, you can get version two if you get a total of 1,500 thumbs ups on your photos. Oh, cool. And I can also save the photos to the SD card, which would be helpful in, you know, just looking at them later, but that's not important at the time. All right, let's close Poke Finder. I got, I got a good taste of it, and I like it. Did you get a good shot? I hear it's best to try to photograph Pokemon from the front, you know? If you want to know more about the Poke Finder, well, just keep on taking tons of pictures. If you say so. Plenty of shops to check out Holy, even an apparel shop. If I had a body, I'd go. And you know what? I want to go to the apparel shop. It's time to get out of my default scrub clothes and get in some Da Flares flair. Oh, Ryan, tell me, do you pick out all your own clothes? My mom does it. Oh, your mother must have a great sense of style then. I love the way that you dress. I, I've i always just worn the clothes that my mother wanted me to wear. I don't really know what kind of thing would suit me. Oh, but that's not why I stopped you, Ryan. I meant to give this to you, Ryan. I received it inside the apparel shop here. I didn't even buy anything, but they said I was the, <laughs> the 99,999th customer to visit the store. But I already have the same one, so I thought you might eat Want it? You obtained the lens case. I cannot change my eye color. It looks like we have something in common now, don't we, Ryan? <laughs> so if Lily was 900 or 99,999, then I'm going to be 100,000. Hi there. Not sure you can pull an offer together. You're always safe with picking things from the same color family and putting them together. True, true. I want to pick out an outfit that'll match my Pokemon here. The lineup of clothes sold at apparel shops like this one is different on each island, you know? And I want every last thing, every last thing in each of them. You're not the only one. If you want to change your contacts or your outfit or anything, you can use the fitting room. It's a little room with that nice big mirror. Welcome. Bye. Do I really want to buy? Probably. Yeah, look at this tank top. I mean, okay, so like, you, I could do it. 
Not to do the tank top. I'm not about the, about the tank top, though. You want a plain white tee? Let's start a band. Plain black tee? Plain red tee? What do we got here? Plain tee? Polo shirt. I can, I can, I can have a polo shirt. Is there a blue one? Oh, there's no blue polo. I was going to say, I could be going to work or something. Let's see. Casual striped tee. Yeah, that's just different colors of the t-shirt I'm wearing. Okay. And now I'm back up at the top. Hmm. I'm, like, not really all about the, uh... Huh. I'll take this black polo. Capri pants. Why don't they have anything blue? Fine, I'll take the black pants too. Socks? I can't see the socks. I mean, I can barely see the socks. Why would I wear... Yeah, like... Whoops. Uh... Yes, I would love to. I didn't mean to back out, though. Let me let me look at your selection some more. No shoes available. No bags available. I'm not getting a trilby. <laughs> okay, never mind. There was nothing else to look at. Because I'm not giving my character a trilby. I want to change contact colors. Let's put the uh, the brown ones in. Because right now our, our eyes are just black. But now they're blue. Now this more accurately represents me. Because I have, well, realistically I have brown hair, but it's dark enough that it looks like it's black. So the hair color is fine. And I have brown eyes. The world will love me. Look, a salon and an apparel shop. I'm going to turn myself into a whole new person. So can I get a haircut in here too? Alola. We can set you up with whatever kind of hairstyle or coloring you like here at our shop. Smooth, shaggy, short. We can do all. We can do loads of st different styles. We also color your hair however you like. Let's do it. I would like, let's do cut and color. That's fine with me. I got cash to spare. 50 bucks is not too bad. For, like, okay, so 5,000 Poké Dollars. Which, Poké Dollars are based off yen. And the current conversion rate from yen to dollar is roughly, one yen is one penny. Roughly speaking. So that's roughly 50 bucks. Might actually be significantly less than, significantly less or significantly more. I haven't, like, actually looked at conversion tables lately for currency. But I always just rough it out at one yen is one penny. And that's where we're going to go from there. I got a free chair right over there. And you can set your things down right there. I know you're probably not interested, but I'm following this weird program right now. You have to totally give up gossiping about your friends or even celebrities. It's no excuse for anything, but seriously. I can barely find anything fun to have a conversation about now. It's terrible. Okay, so let's see. Um, so that's the thing. is like I can't like see what each of these looks like. So I feel really dumb right now because like I've literally wasted 1500 Poke dollars, most of my cash, just to go back to basically what I started with. Cause, yeah. To get it where I want it, it this, like what I want is actually, like this is as close as I'm getting. Right back to where I started. Wasting time! I talked to you already. Alright. Um, battle Buffet. Can't go in, I guess. The more you walk with your Pokemon, the friendlier they are. That's true. Um, 
friendliness factor does go up while you are ru running around with your Pokemon. The journey is made by those who travel with you, and compassion makes the world go round. Let me share this with you, young trial goer. A heal ball. Not the most useful item, but I'll take it. Now, I, honest to God, do not need to heal up, but I might as well come in here. If you give your po your Pokemon medicine and Pokemon refresh, you can cure its poisoning or whatever else may be ailing it. What a refreshing boon. Uh, are you the name? Oh, no, you're the move deleter. Never mind. Don't have any reason to do that. See, what is the purpose of the move deleter now? I don't know if I mentioned it yet, but, um... From what I was hearing, HMs don't exist in this game. They're just TMs. So that's a thing. I'm like all stocked up. I don't need to buy anything. Killer. You want a tip? Okay, use a move that's the same type as your Pokemon. That way you can do extra damage. It's called same type attack bonus. How's it going? 14 o'clock. Yeah, that's accurate. What you got here? You got Roserade Tea. Is that made from the petals of a Roserade Roses? I gotta try all the new stuff. All the stuff I've never heard of before. Here you are. One Roserade Tea just for you. This highly aromatic tea is made from the extracts of Roserade's favorite leaves. When you drink it, you may find yourself wanting to pedal dance. Time is the same for everyone. Whether you're outside playing or laying around sleeping, time just keeps on flowing. How you spend it is up to you. Remember that time is it, the remember that time you enjoy wasting is not wasted time. Whoa, that was really deep. Time you enjoy wasting is not wasted time. Hey, hey kid, you're a trainer, aren't you? I bet you wouldn't mind fulfilling the wishes of, of an alluring lady like myself, now would you? Sure. Well, you, you can see my allure, of course. Anyone with eyes can. But a woman can't depend on such mature beauty alone. She must also have a cute side. <laughs> she must also have a cute side. Let's say that correctly, there we go. A hint of charming sweetness. So I've been thinking that I need to study that kind of cuteness from a cute Pokemon. I heard that there's a rather adorable Pokemon called Drifloon in the Haoli Cemetery. There's a cemetery nearby? Dude, awesome. You think you could catch one? Do you think you could catch one for me and register it in your Pokedex? They are round and soft and bob along as they move. That sounds rather cute, doesn't it? If you keep your word and find one for me, then I'll, e I'll even pay you for the trouble, okay? That sounds like a side quest! Pokemon doing this stuff right. Hey you, do you know about the totem Pokemon? That's not surprising, do your trial and you'll find out what a totem is. This is awesome, we can trade Pokemon in no time at all using Quick Link. I really want your Psyduck, come on, let's trade again! All right, let's dip on out. We gotta go meet up with the rest of the peeps. I saw those Team Skull numbskulls, ha, uh, loitering around the marina again. I reported it to the captain, of course. This is what happens when young people have nothing to do and too much time on their hands. What a bunch of useless thugs. All they do is drag trainers into battles they don't want and try to steal people's Pokemon. I heard they keep trying to sneak into the trial site to steal Pokemon to sell. And that they fail every single time. Did I hear someone say Team Skull in the marina? Z -z -z. Is that where we're headed then? And I guess it could be. What's back here? Dude, swimming pool. Found myself an ether. Which one? Ether or? Sorry. Sorry, I won't do it again. I guess I can't walk over there. Fine. I won't sneak behind the house. Can I enter this house? Let's see who lives in this house. I'm a champ. This Machamp lives here. Champ! Machamp here is a great helper. 
Sometimes Pokemon are good at things that people aren't. The opposite is true, too. Can't go in there. Can't go in there. It's a Drifloon. The young master is called the prince of the trainer's school among some. They may think he looks princely, but if you knew the true Ilima, you'd probably call him a fanatic more than anything. He's wild for battle. Ilima's a guy. Sorry, I totally was like feminine vibes. It's like Bugsy all over again. Would you care for a little treat from a far off region, dear? Lumios Galet. Galet? Galet? I think it's Galet. Galileo, 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 let him go, let him go. <laughs> it's a kind of pastry from the region where my Ilima went to study abroad. It's his favorite, you see. Ilima gained the captainship because he ex exudes pure skill. Seeing him is like looking at myself back on stage and in the spotlight again. Okay, so we'll, we'll admit, thought Ilima was a girl. It's the pink hair. It's the pink hair that threw me off. Any friend of my son's is welcome here. Stay as long as you'd like. Awesome. Pink hair totally threw me off, though. This door looks different from the other doors. Maybe I can go in this door. Oh. My. Goodness. Look at... Look at Game Freak knowing all about them two mo <laughs> dual monitor setups going on here. Damn, son. This might just... <laughs> it's just firm enough and the pure white sheets make you feel clean and comfy. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to actually get into the bed. I swear, I mean nothing by it. Oh, that's funny. I like that. That's that's good. I like it. 10 out of 10 would do again. So, there are patches of wild grass around here. And the in the demo, I was able to find wild Pikachu around here. So, I'm kind of curious what I can find here in the full game. Magnemite. All right. Young Goose, all right. Grimer! Pichu! Oh, so cool! All right, so this is a new encounter, so let's go ahead and capture it. Might as well, right? Oh, uh, let's go for a Vice Grip. I think Bite will do too much damage. Ooh, okay, awesome. Charm drops my attack. That would have been nice if it hit me first. I mean... Oh well, not important now. A one. A two. A three. Oh, come on, Pichu. So it's no Pikachu, but it does evolve into Pikachu. That and I like Pichu more than Pikachu, let's be honest here. Unfortunately, Pikachu is the better Pokemon over Pichu because, of course, it's an evolved form. And stats-wise, Raichu is better than Pikachu, but who evolves their Pikachus? Actually, okay, so I'm totally interested in Alolan Raichu. Just want to put that out there. Going to put it there, leave it there, not worry about it, basically. Well, yeah, I've seen Pikachu before. So it's going to show me that Pichu evolved into Pikachu. That's cool. You cleared your next big, or your first big step, pal. Zzz, zzz. Keep on filling up that Melee Melee Pokedex. 10% of it already. That's kind of impressive. It is not yet skilled at controlling electricity. If you take your eyes off of it, it may shock itself. Shocking. Static shock. Has been added to the party. How kind of it to join my party. What else can we find in here before we end off today's episode? Abra. Okay, you've got me here. I'm sold. 
You gave me great balls already. I'ma use them. That's what I'm talking about. We're gonna catch us an Abra. I'm all for it. We will not be using this Abra, but hey, we've got one. Filling in the Pokedex, that's what this is about. That's gonna fill in that slot right there. Number 42. There are so many Pokemon early game. Like, holy crap. Why don't you check out what kind, just what kind of Pokemon it is that you caught there, pal? It sleeps 18 hours a day. Even while sleeping, it will teleport itself to treetops and pick and eat berries there. The Psy Pokemon. We got a male one, right? I wasn't actually checking the gender. Yes, it is male. In that case, I'm going to nickname it after the Alakazam we used in the Pokemon Platinum Let's Play. If you haven't checked out that Let's Play, I should hopefully put a card on screen at this point that will link to it. So we'll name it Ness. Ness has been added to your party. Like, usually I try to use up Pokeballs early early game. The fact that they gave us Great Balls and that I ran into an Abra, of all things, I'ma use a Great Ball. Yeah, see, it's only got Teleport still. So, ooh, Jolly Nature is not the best for an Abra. Would have preferred, is it Hasty? Is, I don't remember, I, is, is Hasty down or physical attack? Because Jolly is down special attack, which I want the special attack because it's an Abra. Oh well, that's too bad. Not going to use it on the team anyway because we've used an Alakazam in the Let's Play before. Not ruling out all Pokemon that I've used in Let's Plays before, just that's the last, le <laughs> last main series Pokemon Let's Play that I've done. So, there's that. We've captured an Alolan Meowth already. Or, I guess, Meowth in general. I don't even think... I mean, I, I assume that because there's a Lola Meowth, I can't just catch a regular Meowth in this game. Alright, let's do one more encounter and see what we find. And then we're going to call it quits for today's episode. Wingle. There are... There's a butt-ton of Pokemon around here. Like, holy crap. I'm not even worried about fighting this thing right now. There we go. I got out of that one. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's go to the Pokemon Center, heal up, and end off today's episode. So with that, guys, if you enjoyed this episode of Let's Play Pokemon Sun, make sure you leave a like down below. Dislike it if you thought it sucked. You can leave a comment if you feel so obligated to do so. Or just want to say hi. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so you don't miss the next one. If you haven't already purchased these beautiful games, you can check out the Amazon affiliate links linked down below in the description for Sun and Moon. Pick up whichever copy you want. Helps out the channel a ton. And that's going to be about it. So until the next one, my name is Flares. And I'll see you guys right back here for the next episode of Let's Play Pokemon Sun.